how many mobs it can spawn at once, how close a player needs for it to activate, how far away from the spawner mobs can spawn, what the mobs are wearing, what tools they are carrying, their health, status effects, names, their loot tables, and so much more. Damn. Using all these tools, I'm able to create unique challenges. Uh, for Whoa. example, on my server, I make my own dungeons uh, by utilizing... Yeah. Fuck. By changing the MBT data of spawners, I have made custom enemies that my players can take on. We have everything from poison skeletons to boss fights that range from, oh, this isn't too bad, to, holy shit, why does it run that fast? In my dungeons, <laughs> boss mobs typically have armor that makes them faster than the average mob. For example, the Dungeon Guardian 1 is a pretty basic boss mob. It moves 20% faster than the normal zombies do. And the Guardian 4 moves 80% faster, which is just about the same as a player's sprint speed. In addition to the movement buffs, their armor and weapons typically have enchantments that make fighting them particularly painful. The Guardians 3 and 4 have thorns on their armor and high protection on the armor as well, and just increased health. For an added challenge, I tend to put skeletons or witches posted up top of the boss rooms to shoot at players while they frantically try to outrun the main boss mob. It took a lot of trial and error, but the only way I've been able to accomplish this is by using plugins and commands to severely limit what my players can do while in boss room. To enter a boss room, players must click a sign that teleports them in. They can see into the boss room, but barrier blocks prevent them from shooting in. Once inside, they cannot break or place blocks. 